Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earthglow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle... of candle making? Well, this video is actually about sharing the joy of soap making, and this video is um, really exciting to me because I had posted just several photos um, of some cold processed soap batches um, that I had made recently, and I got a lot of you saying that you would love a video on how I made the soaps, and I just wanted to give you all um, a little bit of my background with soap making and share a really fun and exciting package that I'm gonna be unboxing on camera with you all from one of my favorite soap makers who you all probably know too. And if you don't know, you should check out her channel because she's amazing. But anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, then I hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be just doing a brief one here, as I mentioned earlier, just kind of giving you all some background um, because I am primarily a candle maker. Some of you didn't even know that I made soaps and some of you were like, oh my gosh, Alan, you make soaps too. You're multi-talented and Yes and no, um, I am primarily a candle maker and I love making soaps. And I thought, you know what, since so many of you are interested, why not just post some videos of my journey making cold processed soaps? So just a little bit on my backstory and then I'm gonna get into this really exciting package that I'm gonna open from one of my mentors. But just a little bit on my history first. Um, I started making cold processed soaps about three years ago. And I don't make nearly as many soaps as I make candles. Uh, soap making has been more of an avocation for me, kind of like a side job, and uh, candle making has been a uh, full-time type of a thing where I'm selling lots and lots of candles, and that is how I'm paying for uh, my schooling. I'm also a biochemistry slash pre-med major, but soap making is something that I have done uh, cold processed soaps. I started out with melt and pour about four years ago, and probably like most people, um, I had the desire to learn how to actually make soap, cold processed soap. Um, I've never made hot processed soap before, but after melt and pour for about a year, I got tired of that really fast and wanted to learn how to make cold processed soap. So of course I had to go to YouTube and look up some of the, in my opinion, best soap makers um, that are out there and some of the best teachers as well um, for soap making. And I will have all of my favorites linked below. Um, there's a handful of them, but there's one um, that just, really stands out to me for bringing so much joy to soap making and so much passion and soul into every soap that she creates in every aspect of her process. I have been a silent viewer of her channel for a really long time. I've probably watched every video that she has put out and I just adore her passion for what she does. And I am talking about Ellen Ruth, um, her channel I believe is called Ellen Ruth Soap. And to Ellen, um, if you ever see this, from another homeschooled kid here, um, I was homeschooled my whole life uh, until college for those of you who don't know. But to Ellen from a fellow homeschooled kid, um, you were a superb teacher. You were a superb teacher. And I agree that us homeschooled kids really get to develop our personalities and our creativity. And Ellen, you already know this, I'm sure, but you were just a superb teacher. I can only imagine um, to your kids. And I love seeing some of the photos that you have of them um, in your videos. And I absolutely adore you and your channel. Um, but anyways, I'm going to um, just tell you all once again that my soap videos are just following my journey. And again, soap making is not my primary source of income whatsoever. It's an avocation. It's a side kind of job that I do. And my soap recipe, um, I owe to Jerrica Zimmerman. Um, my recipe is based off of her soap recipe and I think that it is absolutely fabulous. Um, I use her soap recipe except for I use sweet almond oil and instead of hemp seed oil. And I have also used some of Royalty Soap's recipes as well as Ellie's Everyday Soap's um, recipes. And I absolutely love, love, love 
um, all the ones that I've tried, um, but I do generally stick to the one um, that is the Jerrica Zimmerman recipe with substituting sweet almond oil for hemp seed oil. So I'm gonna flip you all around and I'm gonna open this like a five-year-old kid here because I don't have my box opener from Nia right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna be just turning you all around and I'm so excited. Um, I've watched all these soaps. Um, she has videos of pretty much all the soaps that she makes up on her website on YouTube so you can see exactly how she makes them and um, I'm just really excited because I have like three soaps in here and then I also ordered a couple of other things so I'm gonna turn you all around and I'm gonna be opening this box oh my gosh I'm so excited I did get my box opener though are we in frame um because Nia would not approve of this um, since she sent me the box opener if I ended up needing a a <laughs> few stitches for slicing my hand open with excitement on this package. <laughs> so, you, oh my god, she's got such a cute little box. So this is her stamp and she puts this, she has this in a stamp form and she puts this on every soap. It says Merry Christmas and I can already smell the peppermint soap in here, you all. I think I ordered two soaps, maybe three. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited. Here we go. So I'm gonna just cover up uh, my shipping address here. And um, this is just, I'm not gonna show you all what I ordered because I want it to be a surprise. By the way, I ordered this um, like a couple of days ago and it shipped like five hours after I ordered it. So holy cow on fast shipping. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this box, you all. So she has, uh, it looks like a couple of little samples in here. I'm gonna flip you all around so you can see my expression when I open this. Um, here's her business card. And um, she grew up, I believe, in Wisconsin. And she lives um, in Tennessee right now. So this package didn't have too, too far to come but I still couldn't believe at how fast the shipping was. Okay, I'm gonna flip you all around and um, oh my God, I love the, the vintage rustic appeal. This is how her website is and just her whole channel. Like, look at this wrapping. Do you all see this? Just adorable. Okay, I'm gonna flip you all around now. Okay, so hopefully the camera's in focus, but this first thing that I ordered was not actually a soap. So this is a solid shampoo bar. Actually, the reason that I even bought this was because of Nia Handcrafted. My first solid shampoo bar that I ever tried um, was just a few months ago by Nia Handcrafted. And Nia's one of my friends as well. And she's also an ER nurse. I believe she's a nurse practitioner in the uh, emergency department. So fellow healthcare um, friend as well. And I just adore Nia Handcrafted's um, uh, solid shampoo bar and um, I use it every night. It's totally changed my shower. Um, it's made it like a spa experience coupled with cold process soaps and her conditioner bar. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I ordered this midnight bourbon and should we open it up and smell it? I can, yeah, I can smell this through the package. It smells amazing. I think that this must be um, a fragrance that I'm not familiar with. Ellen uses a lot of Crafter's Choice fragrances from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So my guess is that this is some blend that she's got from Wholesale Supplies Plus on this one. Um, but I'm really excited to try that in the shower. Okay, so let's get into some of the soaps. Oh my gosh. So this is her chocolate and lavender soap. And I'm gonna link each of her videos um, that she has on these soaps that I bought. I think she has a video, I know she has a video on this one. But do you all see this? I don't know how well it's coming through. This is her goat milk soap. Um, and I just adore it. She has little chocolate kisses on the top. Let me, let me see if I can take it out so that you all can see um, because the shrink wrap sometimes makes it a little harder. Okay, so this is the chocolate and lavender. Oh my gosh, I've probably watched this video like five times and to see one of these bars in person, 
and smell it. Oh my gosh. You definitely get the lavender and the chocolate notes in this fragrance. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a nice firm bar of soap. Uh, and look at her adorable stamp that I was telling you all about. I don't know, there we go, I think it's in focus. Um, but anyways, this is the first one and I'm so excited. I'm gonna jump in the shower after this and I'm gonna be trying it. I've gotta work tonight, so. Um, okay, so next up, she's got this one in a little soap box with her business name on it. This is the Gingerbread Spice with Heavy Cream and she makes some different holiday soaps that they're so adorable. Like I said, there's so much joy put into every aspect of what she does. And this one, I'm gonna have the video linked on as well. But just so you can see how cute, um, it's like the exact colors of gingerbread. And then she's got like a dollop of icing on top here. It literally makes me wanna bite into it. Oh my gosh, and it smells just like a fresh gingerbread. Um, oh my gosh, Ellen, these are so adorable. They're just as cute in person, if not more than in your videos. Like they look just like the videos, you all. So I'm gonna have this one linked below. Um, and then the next soap is, this one is called Candy Cane. And this one has aloe vera in it. Now, Ellen puts a lot of really amazing additives in pretty much all of her soaps, like goat's milk, um, heavy cream, sometimes aloe vera. She'll do different mixes of clays and different things. But she just, her soaps are all chock full of amazingness. But look at this one. So it looks like a candy cane and she's got like a piped topping and then she's got some beautiful glitter on top as well. Oh my gosh. And it smells just like a candy cane as well. I cannot, I am so, I'm so tickled as Alan would say. Oh my goodness. Um, so those are the soaps that I did order and Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So I also ordered, she has a shaving kit as well. Um, now you all know I don't have too much facial hair, but a man can dream, right? Um, so I had to get this and um, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is her shaving soap and um, it's in this adorable little cup and I gotta take this out. She's got the oils listed as well that are in this one. Um, I love the vintage appeal on all of this. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, it smells like sandalwood. Um, look at that whipped texture. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try this. Now I know um, that I don't have too much facial hair, but I do have a little bit, so I will be able to try this out and in the future, I might even have more. So. Um, <laughs> I cannot wait to try that out. And then she's got a couple of samples in here. So this one is called Pretty, and I have no idea what this is. Um, it's a handcrafted soap. So let's see what is inside here. Oh my gosh, she's even beveled the little sample. Um, do you see the sides are like beveled on the sample? This one, it smells more earthy to me but it also has a subtle floral, soothing kind of earthy floral character to it. And then there's also, I think there was, yeah, there's one more. My goodness, Ellen. Um, she's got this one called, oh my gosh, Vintage Christmas with goat milk. And um, I learned how to do goat milk from Ellen. I'll talk more about that later, but you add the goat milk um, as a water discount later on rather than mixed in with your lye water solution. It works really well and because it's easy to scorch goat milk since it has so much sugar in it. Um, but anyways, this is vintage Christmas and oh my God, this is my favorite. Whatever this fragrance is, is so good. It's very strong as well. It's kind of leathery and earthy, spicy as well. It's got some pine to it as well, maybe. 
Um, oh my goodness. And she's also put in here a little candy cane. Is that not adorable? Um, but anyways, Ellen, thank you so much uh, from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do and you share with us as a community of makers and enthusiasts. And um, we are all deeply grateful for you. I will have all these videos uh, for Ellen's channel linked below on the soaps that I purchased. And I know she has one for the gingerbread and the goat milk soap. And if she has a shampoo bar video as well, I will have that linked too. Um, but anyways, so this is how I kind of wanted to open um, the videos that you all have asked me to do, just sharing my experience with soap making. Again, my videos are just gonna be sharing my journey. They are not meant to be um, tutorials or how-to videos whatsoever. I'm really excited to start sharing uh, my soap videos with you all and you will have to bear with me because trying to film when you've got gloves on and you're in a different area, trying to get all the different angles and whatnot can be a bit challenging. Um, so you all are gonna have to bear with me and be patient with me. Um, but I'm excited to be embarking on this journey, sharing with you all my journey and my joy um, for soap making, uh, most of which has been inspired by Ellen and several other just exquisite makers who are also highly talented pedagogues and I'm just deeply grateful. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this video and if you did like it, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you are interested in following my soap making journey with cold processed soap, then uh, stay tuned because there will be more videos for you all on that in the near future. Sending everyone peace, love, and light and I'm wishing all of you happy candle and soap making.